Cryptocurrency is a digital currency that is extremely volatile. And I even had one coin go from $8 to $8,000, which is just insane. This is the story of how I went from $20,000 all the way to $500,000 and then proceeded to lose it all. This is everything I learned from it. This is everything that happened and what I would do again so that hopefully you learn from this mistake as well and maybe even hear a very dumb person. So this has been embarrassing, but I didn't learn my lesson from 2017. I put in $40,000 into crypto and I basically watched it become nothing. And you'd think that someone would learn their lesson and that they wouldn't make the same mistake again. But for me, I guess I just kind of ignored the loss and moved on. And then I saw the next bull run. So I was like, ah, you know what? This makes sense. Bull run again, let's go in. I ended up withdrawing my 401k. My business had just burned $200,000 and I recklessly went pretty much all in with $80,000 into a bunch of what they call shit coins, which is basically just altcoins that are lower market cap. They're projects that can be launched by anybody. And I just went into a bunch thinking that it would just crush. And in May of 2021, the crypto market crashed a bit. And that was a really hard time for me because losing everything I had with withdrawing the 401k and the, having the business having burned a lot of money as well. It was something where it really impacted me and I pretty much couldn't sleep at night. I woke up the wife and I was just like, man, like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, this is so immature and so stupid of me. And it just was such a tough time for me. But being an entrepreneur and being someone who had done e-commerce and things like that, I knew that I had to end up figuring this out. And so I did what I think most entrepreneurs do is they really look at that problem and they say, yo, I need to figure this out. I took accountability for what the mistake that I made. And, you know, I was like, all right, I'm going to really spend the time to go all in with learning technical analysis, watching YouTube channels like Crypto Banter. And so that's what I did. I started and technical analysis is, if you don't know, it's studying charts and trying to find where price will go to different levels of like support or resistance up ahead. And it's not a price predictor, but it's just a way to understand where price tends to go to. Um, and so that was a really cool journey for me, being able to understand how traders do it. I'd always known that that was a method of making money and I got to experience that. Lo and behold, you know, taking the trading psychology as well that I learned, like a good student, I went YOLO, which is a joke, by the way, I like completely disregarded the things that I had learned. And I went all in with one coin called Pancake Bunny. I don't know if you guys knew, but after the market dropped, Pancake Bunny got rugged and are hacked. And then they basically tried to um, revive the whole project. Uh, they've done many things since, but I went all in with that. And I remember like putting in the last 20K that I had in it and being like, yo, this is 50K now. And I ran to the pool where my wife was. And I was just like, yo, this is crazy. And I didn't, I didn't sell it in there. You know, it was like, I was hoping for this thought of like mooning. It's like this toxic thought that happens in crypto when you're inexperienced and you're very foolish is that you just expect things to just blow up and keep blowing up and you don't learn to take profits out. And it was really hard because I saw that money go straight back down and I was like, man, I better just bail out now. Like I got really scared and I was like, yo, I can't lose this. So thankfully I put that into coins like AVAX, Luna, which we all know what's going to happen with that and various other coins. So it was really hard to go wrong in that regard. Thankfully Luna started blowing up and I had gotten into something called IDOs, which is basically what this channel was started for, was the whole IDO game of things. And that was a really cool experience. I got into a IDO launchpad called Occam Phi, which is a Cardano project. And I magically got into Card Wallet, and that coin specifically went from $500 to 5,000. And I was like, yo, this is insane. Like I went in on this and I just, I just spent all my time trying to dig into IDOs, which I do believe is gonna be a viable method once the bull run comes again. So be on the lookout. I'll of course be talking about IDOs when IDO season happens again and when I see it, but for now it isn't. And at the time 
Um, I actually stuck in the profits of the 5,000 into heaven computer NFT and something else. And of course that's gone to like nothing. So I didn't really gain profit from that. Um, but just seeing that 500 become that much just shocked me. And then I found Chain Guardians, which is one that Polka Fantasy, if you don't know, uh, that one was the most insane for me. It went from $500 to $35,000. And I didn't cash out until about $14,000 average. But still, $500 to $14,000 is just, it's nuts. It's something that you don't really expect. And that was just a really cool experience. It was just something that constantly is hitting these types of things and putting that money back into it. But I was getting so much success in it that I think it got to my head and I didn't learn to take it out because it was this positive feeling where it was this constant win. And I was like, yo, I can keep winning. I'm just going to keep doing this until a ton of money. And there's, you know, the craziest thing is there was one specific day where I was like, I think I should pull out now. And I literally was like, yo, I think it's really is time to pull out. And I told the wife, it's like, man, I'm going to take a day to just think about this. I'll pray about it. Didn't feel anything from the prayer. Um, and I was like, all right, I'm either going to pull my money out completely or just go all in even more and leave it in. And unfortunately, I chose to leave it in. I had joined a crypto project and I basically just watched that money become nothing. And overall, like it's been a really sucky journey, you could say, but it's also been such a big blessing because it really like allows you to learn that your mindsets and the things that you need to learn in life, if you don't learn them, life's going to teach you them anyway. And for me, I know that it's impossible to make that mistake again because I've made that mistake before now. And it's not something that I'll do again. I will be in the next bull run. I will make sure that I am trying to farm and milk how I do things, but I definitely won't make the same mistake. It's going to be just a discipline to DCA out. And that's kind of the lesson that I would recommend to you is um, when you're in crypto and you're making profits, when you take those profits out, just take a certain percent out and leave it out. Leave it in fiat, Learn. leave it in something else, whatever it is. You know, I'm a business um, minded guy. And so I could have easily used that money to uh, do much better in all my businesses. But anyway, I hope this story was at least funny to you. But if not, oh, I hope it was actually a lesson. And um, let's crush it next crypto bull run because I am excited for that. Stay updated with the channel. We'll see where this goes. Um, I definitely will be posting when crypto is more alive. But until then, I guess you can hear stories about uh, some of the stupidity and the things that I did.